Okay, so in all of these problems, we're going to really be taking an algebraic approach to kind of solve for the different variables here. And you'll see how the algebra really helps. So in the first example, we've got three brothers and they have consecutive even integers as ages, right? The ages of the three brothers are consecutive even integers. And then three times the age, just to tell you some more facts here, three times the age of the youngest brother oops, exceeds the oldest brother's age by 48 years. What is the age of the youngest brother? So really they're giving us a system of equations here. The three ages of the brothers are consecutive even integers. So for example, that could be 2, 4, 6, or any three even integers that, that are right after another. So their ages can be expressed as x for the youngest, plus the next brother's age will be x plus 2, plus the final brother's age will be x plus 4. Right? Think about the numbers 2, 4, and 6. You would start with 2, and then add 2 to get 4, and then add 4 to the original 2 to get 6. And then we know 3 times the age of the youngest brother, so the youngest brother's age is x, right? exceeds the oldest brother's age by 48 years. So that's the, the really valuable information there. 3x exceeds the oldest brother's age by 40 years. So it's equal to the older brother's age plus 48, right? Because 3 times the younger brother's age is 48 more. So essentially now we can solve for x. So I'll subtract x from both sides, right? These parentheses aren't really doing anything here. Subtract x, subtract x, and what do we get? 2x equals 4 plus 48, or 52, and then divide both sides by 2, and x equals 26. So that's the age of the youngest brother. And you can test this out. The three brothers' ages then would be 26, 28, and 30. And 3 times 26, right, that's um, 3 times 20 is 60, 3 times 6 is 18, that's 78, and that's 48 years more than 30. So this algebraic approach will help you solve these.